What's up, everybody? We got another framework snake draft. That's how we're saying it. We are going to uh, be picking the technology we would use to build a full stack application like a SaaS or a social network or something like that. So we got to pick a database, an ORM, a UI framework, a meta framework where we're going to host it, CSS methodology, and then anything goes at the end. And we're allowed to what? Cheat, steal, borrow from each other. It's going to be bloodbath. <laughs> <laughs> and before we get started, let's go ahead. Uh, just so everybody can see, I'm going to randomize the names, the order in which we're going to go in the snake draft. So I'm going to click randomize one, two, three. Oh, come Ooh. on. Oh, First. wow. It did not okay. change. Okay. CJ is going to kick it off. 30 seconds on the board to make his pick. Yeah, I'm going to make it easy. And I don't think you guys are going to steal this. So I'm picking Vue and Nuxt as my UI and meta framework. Uh, I recently released a course on it. I love it. It's the best. I choose Vue and Next. Can we also just acknowledge that no matter what CJ picks, everyone's going to be like, CJ wins. <laughs> yeah. No, honestly, CJ has been botting the comments lately with all these like anonymous accounts being like, CJ did the best job when it clearly <laughs> did not. You I'm know? not buying. I, I just have some very loyal fans. I think that's what no, he does. No, yeah. I think, I think it's, you've got some sort of like, yeah. Whole, whole bot of everyone. And it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be even worse worse this time because you guys made it called attention to it. So yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, everyone, please say that Scott and I do better. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So view next off the board unless somebody wants to steal it. Um, I'm on the clock. I'm going to say I am picking Postgres. Mm. Database tech, first round. Thanks. All right. Um, I'm going to go with SQLite as my database. And I'm going to go and pick Drizzle as my ORM right away. Those are my two shots. Wait, you can t pick two at once? Yeah, well, I'm, I, it's Snake. I'm on the last one. So I finished the oh. first turn and we snaked around. That makes sense. Yeah, that's a yeah. snake. You know how <laughs> snakes work? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like this? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. Uh, I got to pick something now. I am going to... Oh, I don't want anybody stealing my stuff. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna host on AWS. Like, are you are you gonna like self-host EC2 or you, or some of the higher level services or Lambda? I mean, I'm gonna do it via SST, but it's gonna be on oh, AWS. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I first am going to steal Postgres. Oh, from Scott. Boom. CJ. All right. Well, Scott, yeah. has ten seconds to pick a new database tech. I was going to steal uh, Drizzle, but now I can't. Um, <laughs> oh, I don't have to pick a new database tech. I'm going to pick SvelteKit. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So you're without a you're without a database right now. Okay. Currently. <laughs> and because we're snaking, I go again, right? This is how it works? Yes. Great. I'm going to also steal Drizzle. You cannot oh, do two steals. I, I can't. Well, it's no. a new round. We get one steal per game. The whole per game? One steal per game? No, that oh, we get how many steals is in. You no, wasted we did it, it on been. Postgres. No, last time we, you guys stole multiple times. No, no, we didn't. Sorry, <laughs> Wes stole for me, and I stole back from Wes. That's how we. Did there it. is there is no rule that says we can only steal once per game. In you, the Randy just said it. <laughs> there, there, it says right up above. Each person gets one steal for the entire draft. What? Okay, <laughs> that's fine. I'm There's happy no with rule, Postgres. Huh? It's got a vector database. It supports JSON. I'm happy with that steal. Uh, but, but because I can't have Drizzle, I am going to choose Keasley as my oh. ORM. <laughs> That was my backup. Yeah, have you guys used Keasley? I have not actually. All I know mm. that is the Drizzle and Keasley guys fight a lot on on Twitter. Do they? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they have a lot in common. They're all about TypeScript. So I, I I used to use Connects back in the day, and then Keasley is like a much more type safe version of Connects. It's a query builder, not exactly an ORM, but yeah, Keasley is my choice. Yeah, people seem to like Keasley. Okay, that puts me in the hot seat. Gosh, I don't have an ORM. <laughs> <laughs> or a database. Have, or database. And uh, you, I met. Well, I'm going to use my steal and steal Postgres back. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Um, yeah, I have Keasley. I want to stick with a, SQL, uh, with a SQL database. I've already stolen, so I can't st steal again, right? Even though you yeah, You guys have wasted your steals. That means I can take anything <laughs> I want on my last turn. 
Uh, I'm gonna go You're with as my sequel. I'm gonna go with uh, my sequel then, because it, you know, it's oh, getting that's there. Oh, that's faithful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Syntax heights in my my sequel, my SQL, my squeal. Yeah. My sequel. Um, I am going to since neither of you guys can can steal. I'm gonna go with vanilla CSS or modern CSS as my oh. my CSS approach. You know, nesting, scoping, donut scope, let, literally any of the new features that don't work. By the way, half of the brain dead people that watched our last one were like, "I clicked on Wes's example and it didn't work." Like, watch the episode. It's it's future tech. You got to turn the setting on <laughs> in your browser. I agree. Uh, Wes, you broke my heart with that one, but yeah, I knew yeah. it. I knew you were gonna take it, and I was like, well. You can't. You pick again, Wes. Oh man, I get to go again. All right. Um, for my framework, I'm going with Tanstack Start. Mm. Tanstack Start comes with Tanstack Query. Comes with the router. Comes with it's React, obviously. Yeah. Feeling pretty good about that. No, no server components yet, but future, future upgrade. Now that's a good pick because it's an all-in-one. You get some yeah. multiple libraries for for one. Yeah, I don't yeah. have to worry about like data loading or, or anything. There's state management. Uh, maybe state management, but most of that can be done with with ten with the uh, query. Nice. All right. Um, I need. No, it's my turn. No, it's okay. It's not my turn. It's snakes. It's Do you snake understand draft. how snakes work? <laughs> no, I don't. I need to see a list. I need. To, what, what order are we in? Guys, guess what I'm picking? I'm picking Tailwind from the top Woo. rope. <laughs> 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 oh, it's mine. Okay. Insufferable tailwind enjoyer, Scott, of course. Yeah, you've been forced to actually learn it and like it. Cool. Yes. Okay, it's my turn now? Yes. Yes, okay. I I need a CSS methodology. I mean, like technically Vue has scoped styles, so it's not too crazy to kind of just use the stuff that's built in. I, I kind of want to pick Daisy UI. So it is higher level, right? It's built on top of Tailwind. Would you guys allow it if I picked Daisy UI, even though Tailwind has already been picked? It's, it has classes that are built up of Tailwind styles. Yeah, like it, it it comes with like UI as well, right? And it's it also comes with, like does it have components? I yes, don't know. You, got, you know what? It says Tailwind directly in the headline. Like, yeah. Faster, cleaner, easier, Tailwind. So, no, so I'm going like, to allow that's it. That's stepping on like, my toes there. You wouldn't be able to use Chat CN or any. It, it, I, I'm quite frankly, I'm surprised, Scott, that you just went straight up Tailwind and not <laughs> like something that comes with like like a Radix or it's, it's or, a C, CSS or methodology. CN. A CSS, not a UI thing. Tailwind not a is UI CSS. Component they library. have their own rendering engine, yes, but what I'm saying okay. is, is that like the, the category isn't a UI framework in terms of like Chat CN or whatever. I'm gonna allow it. I'm gonna allow it. That's an insane allow. In, in an attempt to get the comments to like me, I'm going to allow it for CJ. Okay. Well, I appreciate that you allowed it, but I'm just going to switch to CSS modules to make it interesting. All uh, right. So, That's a good yeah. call. Yeah. Because, it, you know, you can still have them separate. You can import them into components. CSS I think modules. that fits the, the brief better. Yeah. The scope CSS in, like, I'm assuming in Vue, but in, like, like Svelte as well, as, I'm pretty sure that is just CSS modules. You know, it, it does the same thing, same rules. Similar thing. Yeah. All right, you're up again, CJ. As I'm the up snake again. comes back to you, <laughs> um, I am going to choose for my hosting provider. I'm going to choose Cloudflare. Okay. And is everyone out of Love steals, Cloudflare. or is that going to be stolen from me? I haven't have stolen anything yet. Oh, Wes gosh, has not okay. stolen anything. So see, <laughs> get ready yeah. to learn. Uh, GoDaddy, <laughs> CJ. <laughs> 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 How good are you at cPanel? <laughs> yeah. Pretty decent, pretty decent, but yeah, yeah. Okay, I need an ORM. I need an ORM. I need an ORM. I need an ORM. You know what? This gets a bad rap for no gosh darn good reason. We use it on syntax. It's getting better all the time. I'm going to go with Prisma because you know what? It includes all the stuff. It includes yeah. all the good stuff. And uh, LLMs really know Prisma. If you want to go do. ahead and be like, generate me this stuff. And Prisma I don't feel Studio like is so good. It's good. Um, so I need a, I just need a hosting provider yet, right? And then a wild card. All right, my hosting provider, I'm I'm, I'm torn between like a like self-hosting with a Coolify, but I think I'm going to steal Cloudflare workers from CJ so that yeah. I can get images and stats and cues and all of that good stuff for free comes along I with it. it. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> New Year. Yeah. New Year. Cloud Curve's a okay. good deal. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Ten seconds. I don't want to pick the V word, so I'm gonna pick Three, Netlify. Two. V. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm, I don't. Even, I don't even know if Netlify supports Nuxt. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it does. Okay. But yeah, and I Netlify and I re- supports everything. I've only used Netlify for like static sites, so uh, for this for this app, I'm committing to to learn a new stack, Netlify. Yeah, Deploy Netlify supports Nuxt. to Netlify. Yes. Cool. I Netlify like Netlify. Hires, like as like several yeah. people on staff just to make sure that the frameworks work well mm, okay. in them. And they also have Dino. Like I'm hosting a Dino app on Netlify, yeah. which is really cool. I'm still hosting quite a bit on Netlify, and I choose to just because it's it's nice. Yeah, Ooh. it's great. All right, All right, Wes. Wildcard time, baby. Back to me. It's a snake. No, it, I think it's. Doesn't you didn't do CJ player. just me? go though? Yeah, but he was a steal. So. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, back to me again then. Okay, yeah. All right, Wild the snake card. is confusing. Oh man. Um, snake. Snake, snake, Put snake, X snake, if you snake, want snake, now. Snake, snake. Um, I'm gonna go with. OpenAI, npm install OpenAI, and that oh. way I can use any of the AI providers. And I love how you clowned on me for picking Copilot in the last, last one. one because yeah. of the AI stuff. <laughs> and look at you in your wild card. Yes. Well. Yep. All right. On my wild card, uh, I'm going to pick something that pairs excellently with my stack of Prisma and Postgres, and I'm throwing in zero sync because oh. zero sync, there's even an adapter for Prisma to go right into the zero sync yeah, schema. Call. So what a stack. Yeah, okay. I My last pick, I have to choose a wild card. I don't know how to round out this stack because, like, I mean, I could build anything at this point. It just It's just a matter of, like, what I'm building specifically, and then I might branch off from there. I like the idea of including AI, so I'm actually going to go with uh, Langchain. Langchain does let you talk to all the different AI APIs and yep. they have a bunch of built-in stuff with like uh, prompt templates and and like consuming uh, documents. Yeah, and and also like yeah, in uh, like re- retrieval aug- augmented generation and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going with Langchain. Langchain is good. Man, sick. Or should we go through our stacks then? Let's do it. Maybe we should give them a name too. <laughs> all okay. right. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's like give us like 5 seconds while we develop a name for our stacks and then we'll let the comments decide. Who does the best? CJ, since you are the first, you can give us your the stack name and then the items in your stack and maybe a little bit about why you named it, what you named it. Well, mine's an acronym, and that's why people are going to vote for it, because this is the Vulcan stack. What? <laughs> uh, so V is for view and next. Well, that's the V and the U. The L is for link chain, because we're going to have some AI in our app. It's We're going to get lots of investors. It's going to be great. Uh, the C is for CSS modules. Uh, it's nice and uh, reusable and doesn't pollute out from uh, from your components. The A is also for Langchain, and then the N is for uh, Netlify. I have to fig. I have to fit MySQL in there somewhere. But I, I, the, <laughs> the the L is for MySQL. The A is for Langchain. Um, but that's my stack. The Vulcan okay. stack. Okay. Yeah. I love I love the name. That's um, a cool name. Yeah. It's a cool name. Let's see, my stack is the smooth stack. Oh, and it's just like the ocean under the moon. Stack. It's the same kind of emotion that I get from you. You got the kind of loving that can be so smooth. Uh, give me your heart, make it real. Let's don't forget about it. The smooth stack. And in the smooth stack, we got Svelkit, very smooth. Uh, AWS, well, it's only smooth with SST, but it can be smooth. Uh, Postgres, clearly the smoothest DB. Tailwind? smooth experience all around uh it's kind of windy and uh prisma easy smooth and zero sync fast uh friendly smooth so the smooth stack nice all right mine is called the std version 5 company (laughs) it's actually so like it's an open source project but there's like a company behind it you know to make it sustainable Um, so the, the STD5 company is the um, STD is SQLite, Tanstack, and Drizzle. The V5 is, is for vanilla CSS. And the company is Cloudflare OpenAI, you know? So see. Yeah. Um, really excited to launch what we have. Some really exciting investors behind the STD V5 company. And uh, <laughs> we're going to put uh, like V0, Index, 0, 
all of these zero companies out of uh, V5 is five is more than zero. So we're excited to beat Makes everybody. Sense. Yeah. But zero is number one in index base indexing, zero based indexing. So. Yes, but it's also a falsy value in JavaScript. Number one. So unfortunately, that <laughs> uh, is not good. <laughs> All right. Thank oh. you so much for watching. Let us know down in the comments which of these stacks you think is the best and one. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Uh, check out these videos of us doing similar stuff and we'll see you in the next one.